So consumer surplus and producer surplus, this is the area along the graph, and it was one I was trying to explain to you on the other slide. So in this case, the equilibrium price is $5. This is what the buyers and sellers do pay. This is the equilibrium price. And then you have the equilibrium quantity down here, which is um, 10. So we've got 10 down there. So this area, so just look, somebody was willing to take nine, eight, seven, six, five. So this is what they're looking at. So these are all higher than five. So six and maybe seven, maybe eight, maybe nine, maybe 10. So this area is the consumer surplus. This is their benefit. They were willing to pay a higher price and they actually paid $5. Now the producer surplus is, this is what they were willing to sell it at, but they got $5. So in this case, right here, they could have gotten two, or they, they would have accepted two, but they got five. So they made a producer surplus of three. And then you look up here, they were willing to pay, sell it at four, but they got five, so they got a producer surplus of one. So from five to equilibrium to down here, that is the area of the producer surplus. The consumer surplus is from 10 all the way here. Now, how did you get the area? It's one half times the base times the height. So basically you've got, this is 10. So you're going 10 times, and then you have, what is the base and the height? So you've got 10 times five, is 50 and then one half of that. So that gets you to 25. Here you are one to five. So you're looking at this. So this is four is your height. So you've got four times 10 divided by two equals 20. So your producer surplus is 20. Now your total surplus is 45. That is the consumer surplus plus the producer surplus. And the formula is one half times the base times the height. And that's how you get your calculation of the consumer surplus and the producer surplus and do that. So we're not gonna be tested on that. I do want you to know the area and I want you to gray the area, consumer surplus, producer surpluses, but we are not gonna be calculating the area on any graph or test. That is more of a micro versus a macro concept.